Hello guys, welcome back to the third part of how to make a game like Blue Lock. So, yeah, in today's part I let you decide what we do and today we are going to start working on the reroll system. So we are going to make all the data handling today and then make the actually rollable stuff in the next episode. So if you haven't subscribed yet also, please consider having, hitting that subscribe button because it really helps me out a lot. We recently surpassed 6k subs, I also want to thank you all for this milestone. And yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay, so in the last episode we did the shooting. It's pretty much so we could shoot the ball and yeah, we could hold it and then the ball flies, right? So we could do small taps for the ball to go, yeah, pretty slow. When we hold, like, right click, the ball gets shot, right? And the longer we hold right click, the more it shoots. So that's what we did in the last episode with this system. So now we actually want to get into how this all works with the spinning and stuff. Because of course we want the player to be able to change their yeah their weapons and stuff. So this is essentially what we are going to do now. So yeah we first of all want to add a script to sell script service we don't have any script in there and i'm gonna just name this one to play with data and yeah so let me just open up this one here real quick and yeah we also want to add a folder to server storage and i'm gonna name this one modifications And then I will add a few of those module scripts that we all love in there. And I'm going to name one to ego. So just like the traits that, um, that I can roll. So then we have traits. And then we have... I'm going to duplicate it. No, I can. Then we have lastly weapon. So this is all that we need. And then for the player data, we can just start off with the, well, yeah, with the player handling essentially, but I think we don't need player handling as of right now. No, we, we really don't. We can. No, we don't need anything. Okay, I guess so we can just start with these modules. So let's start with ego. And I'm gonna name this one the ego module. And I'm gonna copy this, paste it down here. And then I'm gonna go up here and do ego module.price. And then you can set it to like a price. I'm gonna just put like 5,000. Then ego module dot chances is equal to the table. And then what you want to do is you want to just get all your rarities. So I'm just going to pick very basic rarities here. So I'm just go with common, put the order to one, and then put the chance, and let's put the chance to like 50%, then a color, which is a color three, and you can just put from HSV. RHB or just dot new. I'm just gonna make it a nice little color. Let me just I can also just write in the stuff. It's like a nice gray. And then yeah, don't forget the comma. And then for the name I'm gonna go with com of course. And then let me Okay, come here and then let me copy this table and just paste it like 
four more times. Three more times, I should say. Then let's get rare. That's the next one. Paste. Then let's get legendary. And then like mythic or something. Paste this all in here. For the mythic, I'm just going to get a nice red. For the legendary, I'm going to get a nice orange. And for the rare, I'm just going to get a nice blue. Alright, so actually, we change this value a bit. It's a bit lighter. Okay. And yeah, then we can create one script for this module. And this will be called ego module dot get all. Say function and then we do local oh yeah, I forgot the function call. function equal to dot get all then we do we define the all which is basically a table and then for underscore comma module script and then we do in pairs scripts call get children do and then we do if module scripts call is a module script and then local module and then local success comma error is equal to p call and then we do function and then we do module is equal to require and then we put the module script in here and then what we want to do is if not success then warn failed to require module and then we just put the module in here so module script dot name and then we put like an error message here the error and then we continue so what this p call does is basically if one module script breaks it's not going to like cancel it out and then nothing works then it's just not going to work with this one module script okay. then we get local rarity is equal to module not module script but module dot rarity or unknown and then if module script dot name then warn processing module then we can get like a comma module script dot name and then we can put with a rarity and then we can put the rarity in here and then all and then we do module scripts dot name to put this equal to a table and then we say name is equal to module script dot name and rarity is equal to rarity and module is equal to module pretty much it this and then else we born module script dot name is nil four and then we just put the two string module scripts like this so if anyone is wondering what this all means oh yeah also we have to return all here uh, so what we do is basically when we put a module script in here like for the ego this is all the egos we will have so maybe we want to add a common or like any ego so i'm gonna put like striker just name striker and then what we want to do is those will always have the same like function so you just put the module dot rarity and then set it up to the rarity that you want so this is going to be rare right so we got striker here everywhere and striker is the name of the module so what this will do is for every module script in pairs script dot get children or like colon get children so for every module script that's inside here 
then we check if it's a module script. And if it is, then we define a module and then we try to call this module. Like we try to require it because only then when we require it, we can get to the rarity. And if not success, then it will just work with the rest of the modules. And then what we basically do is we get the rarity and then we create a table with the name of the ego, for example, now, the rarity and with the module. That's pretty much it. And yeah, then we will also have cosmetics folder in here. So we can add a cosmetics folder in here. But yeah, since we don't do that right now, we can just leave it out. But for example, I can create a just name on Duala. And then let me copy Duala, go in here, paste it everywhere here. And this one, let me go with mythical. I wrote mythical, right? Mythic, okay, only mythic. Yeah, and then for example, in the mythic, we then want to add a cosmetics folder. How can I change the name though? So a cosmetics folder. And in this folder, then there would go the cosmetics. So how I set it up will be, you go in here and you have like the cosmetic, then you have a part that tells you which body parts will go in. Yeah, we will get to this eventually. And yeah, so this is pretty much it for the ego. And then we can pretty much continue on with the trait and the weapon. So this is pretty much the same thing. So we can just copy the stuff in ego, paste it into trait. Of course, change the ego module to trait module. Maybe we can like lower the price a bit to like 2000. We'll remove mythic. Plus I just saw I messed up the chances. I forgot to put the orders. So we have to do this in a second. We just get some basic stuff here. And yeah, for this one, I would just like maybe put this to two. The order is going to be four, three, and then like 8%, two into like 40. I think this is good. And then you have for the traits, then we have set it up like this. And I think we don't have to change anything for the function. No, we don't. Okay, yeah, then we can just copy this and paste it into weapon. And then, of course, name it weapon module. So, weapon module, weapon module, weapon, weapon, and weapon. Then we get to make a 3.5k. And then for this one, I'm going to add a new rarity in called like epic. the name to epic, put like a purple color in, we get like something like this. Put the chance to like 15, the other is 3, this other is 4, this has like 5, then this has to be like 30, and then we can leave this at 50. This A and B. Okay, yeah, it works. And that's pretty much it. So you got all this stuff. And we can. Yeah, we are ready for the next episode now. So this is pretty much it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.